What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. A very short and sweet video. Well, maybe not so sweet for a few fans out there. That's going to be Epic Games now apparently responding to a UK reporter and news outlet. That's The Sun. Quite conveniently, uh, being in the UK, they have now responded as well. Apparently, one of the staff members or spokespersons for Epic Games has now doubled down and will uphold their Phase Jarvis permanent and what seems to be a lifetime ban for Fortnite. In a very quick statement as well, the article does go on. Other responses are obviously going to be talked about probably in the future of the harshest ban we probably seen in Epic Games history, especially when it comes to a prominent public figure like FaZe Jarvis. In that statement, though, that spokesperson, he keeps it pretty short and simple. As he does state, we have a zero tolerance policy for the uses of cheat software. When people use aimbots or other cheat technologies to gain unfair advantage, they ruin games for people who are playing fairly. And that's it. That's the only statement they made. They say that aimbotters, cheaters out there, third party software users, they ruin the game for other people and obviously in a very unfair way. They have a zero tolerance policy towards this and they will uphold the permanent Ban for FaZe Jarvis. Now, why it seems to be a lifetime ban as well is because he is a public figure. He streams, he makes YouTube videos. If he ever tried to actually do that publicly while playing Fortnite, Epic Games would obviously target him and, and take him down yet again. So this is by far and away the harshest punishment we've ever seen for a Fortnite prominent figure and prominent player out there, such as FaZe Jarvis. It is, in my opinion, a very, very harsh punishment. It will, though, at the very, very lightest things, guys, if you're looking for some sort of good news out there, it will teach all other members members out there, whether pro members, uh, whether creators out there, whether streamers, that hey, by the way, Epic Games, they don't freak around with this kind of stuff. If you cheat publicly, no matter who you are, you will be banned for life. I do hope if anyone else out there does cheat as a prominent public figure, that Epic Games obviously does the same punishment for them. I do think it is, it's very harsh and unless Jarvis pulls like a Tyler 1 and does a bunch of offline content for future YouTube videos and try and, and actually hide the accounts he's using, he could possibly do that, but when it comes to actually publicly are live playing the game he will never do that again and even just saying that statement it, it's obviously very harsh and there have been mixed opinions out there of this either way epic games is now responded guys double down and will be upholding the lifetime ban of jarvis alongside that the story does continue it's for another video because we have Barbara now getting involved. That's the mother of Jarvis. And a lot of outlets out there, like The Sun, have taken this in a in a, in a way that I don't think Jarvis would probably like. I'm never going to uh, touch on the toes in most situations of a mother defending her son. I love my mom to death. Whenever a mother out there especially gets involved in gaming, it's probably for good reason. This one, for Barbara, probably the same. She's just trying to defend her son. Obviously, though, uh, I don't know if Jarvis is going to want this kind of publicity. The way it's being represented so far is that... Eh, I don't know if this is actually good publicity uh, around the entire situation. Obviously very sad for Jarvis. A lot of people out there feel this is justified. You guys, of course, can leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, breaking down esports and gaming news here every single day, all day long. If you guys have a story you want me to cover, feel free to drop me a DM or a comment down below. I will cover your story as soon as possible. As always, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Until then, take care.